Hello everybody, welcome back to this next episode of the Peaky Mine and Let's Play series. I hope you're all well. In between episodes I've been working on my mine staging area, so let's go and see how that's worked out.
So here we are. First of all, I've built up this entrance and exit area. The idea will be to fall down here to get into the mine. And then eventually I'm going to build a bubble column and that will be the way out. Over here I've built lots of storage. So I'll be able to come straight up from mining and put away all of the stuff like uh, cobblestone, stone, diorite, all those kind of things into this storage area. Over here is a little crafting area. I've got a little spring and well with an infinite water supply. And then this will be the entrance to the actual branch mine itself. I'll dig a big 3x3 three three tunnel straight down and then have branches come in off that. And then over here is a big space left so that I can put an auto smelter in at some point. So that's the mine finished then. I can update the task board. So right now I want to make a couple of gadgets that will make my uh, life a lot easier. I want to make an auto smelter and an auto composter. First thing I'll need to do is make some items that I'm going to construct the gadgets from. I need some barrels and I will need some chests but I only need the chests so I can make some hoppers. Right, so I'll start by placing a barrel and then using right click I'll get a hopper pointing into the barrel. And then it, again, using right click, place a furnace on top of the hopper. Next thing is to put hoppers going into the top of the furnace using right click and into the side. And then to finish it all off, I need barrels on top of both hoppers. So that's the machine finished. So you put coal into the barrel that's going into the bottom of the furnace and then your items to smelt go into the top barrel. Now the beauty of this is you can put several stacks in the barrel at a time and the furnace takes one stack at a time so you can smelt lots of things without having to come back to it all the time. So it doesn't do things quickly particularly but it means that you can smelt more than one item at a time and go off and leave it and do other things. Now I'm not quite finished there because what I'm going to do is make this into an XP bank. If I place a lever next to the hopper it will lock the hopper which means that when I take something out of the furnace I get all the XP that's built up in the furnace. So this is an XP bank as well as an auto smelter. Okay, next thing is I'm going to build an auto composter. Once again, start with a barrel and a hopper pointing into the barrel. Place the composter on top of the hopper. Hopper into the composter. And then a barrel for the things that you want to compost. Now I've got some seeds that I don't really need. 
I'm going to save three stacks of seeds so that I've got some available if I want to make um, an auto crop farm or if I need seeds for anything. But the rest are just useless really. So I'll put them into this barrel and as you can see they start feeding down. So from useless seeds I'm going to get very useful bone meal. Absolute bargain. So that's going to be a wrap for this episode. In the next episode, I'm hoping to make a start on the cow farm. And I'll probably update the task board with some new tasks. Because it's beginning to look a bit bare there, we've actually been quite busy over the last few episodes. So if you're enjoying this series, please think about subscribing. Drop me a like. Hit the notifications bell. And please tell me any of your thoughts, leave, a, leave me a comment, let me know where you think the series should go, let me know if there's any particular projects that you'd like to see. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. By order of the Peaky Miner.